Do you want to learn how to create amazing visual effects like the ones you see in professional videos? Insert a video or an image inside text. Create this awesome transition and dive into the text. Put a video inside text, inside another video, and a few extra little tricks. Let's jump right in. Once we're inside DaVinci Resolve, we need to place the video clip on an upper video track, and on the track below, we'll place the text. Next, go to the Effects menu. Click on it. Now open the toolbox and look for the section Titles. Inside Titles, choose either Text or Text Plus, it doesn't matter which one. Both work fine. Drag it to the timeline right underneath the video clip and match the duration. Alright, once that's done, disable the upper video track so we can see the text underneath. Just click this icon right here. Now click on the text clip and go to the title section. If you don't see that option, just click on the inspector menu and all the options will appear. Perfect. Now let's customize the text. Just type in whatever title you want. In the font section, you can choose your typeface. Finally, I'm going to scale up the text and adjust it so it covers the whole screen. Nice. Our text is now ready. Time for the final step. Reactivate the video track we disabled earlier and click on the cloud video clip. Now we just need to change the composite mode from normal to foreground. And finally, select the text clip, go to settings, and change its composite mode from normal to alpha. Click and boom, we've got our video showing through the text. But what if you don't want a black background and prefer to add an image or another video? Easy. Just select both clips and move them up to a higher video track, then place the background clip underneath. See, told you it was easy. And you know what else is easy? Getting this awesome transition. To make it look great, I recommend using a clip with forward camera movement meaning the elements in the video move toward the camera. Let's continue where we left off. We already have the video inside the text. Now, to create the transition, the video clip needs to be longer than the text clip. Perfect. Select the text clip and go to the settings section. Click there. Now add dynamic zoom. Click on this little circle. When it turns red, it means it's activated. If we play the video now, we'll see a small zoom out. The text moves slightly away. But we want the opposite. We want the text to come closer to the screen. To fix that, go back to the dynamic zoom section and click swap. Now we have a zoom in. The text gets bigger. Great. Lastly, we need to manually configure the dynamic zoom so the text zooms in even more. To do that, Click on this arrow here and select Dynamic Zoom. When you click, these two colored rectangles will appear in the viewer. The green rectangle shows where the zoom starts and the red one is where it ends. We need to adjust the red box so the zoom ends inside one of the letters. Just click on one of the corner circles and resize the red rectangle. I'll make it smaller so the zoom finishes inside the letter A. Perfect. Once we've positioned the end zone of the zoom, here's what happens. The video starts in the green zone, showing the whole text, then it zooms in until it reaches the red zone. Alright, let's hit play and see how it looks. Awesome. If you want to tweak the transition speed, just adjust the length of the text clip. Here's my final tip. If you want the transition to feel smoother, try changing the dynamic zoom speed. Instead of using linear, try ease in or ease out. Looks much better, right? And wait, you're gonna love this. If we now add another video underneath, you'll get this epic transition between the two clips. If you want to keep learning, here's a playlist with over 60 free tutorials just like this one, or even better. Last tip, try reversing the speed or the zoom to switch up the transition and put more focus on the title. Catch you later.